We are live. What's up, everyone? Myself and Brother Sandman PR Vlogs. Tag team. Just a tag team in the house. Just coming to really not any official podcast. Just going to hype up tonight's giveaway. Toys. Toys, guys. Kevin bought toys to give you guys. I'm so jealous. Yeah, I had a bunch of things I was going to give away, but uh, unfortunately, one of our members kind of got felt ill. He doesn't feel well, so we're going to do those giveaways next week, Wednesday. And uh, I bought all new stuff to give away today. You want to show them the plastic? Faux show. Sure. Show them just the first hour gift. Okay. Which is not... What's up, Judson? How you doing, brother? It's, it's going to be a two-hour stream. We're going to do a roughly two-hour stream. I have two gifts to give out. The first one's legit but the second one's the one i'm excited about wrestling fans pay attention this is i found this on clearance and it's an elite actually you know that now that um i picked this one up on the the main aisle of toys mm -hmm. they had one um what's his name uh razor ramon did they i, I bet you anything it was this price and it was just kind of stashed but it just <laughs> didn't have a sticker on it no but i bet you it rings up the same next time i go i'm gonna pick it up Maybe give it away also. Yeah, Razor is always. He's awesome. And with the both of these. Always beloved. The bed is so cool that they put together. All you need is the two to make the bed. There's her the and Razor make the bed? Yeah, her and Razor make the bed part. What does Sean come with? They come with a. Uh, let me show you here. They come with the curtain. Sean comes with the curtain. Him he and comes with half and uh, Doink comes with the other half. I know you're still in the hunt for that doink. I really want him. Uh, I haven't seen him ever again. <laughs> but I really want him for the... I don't want him full price. But the bed is really cool. It's nice. So I'll probably pick him up for next time. What's up, Marvel Ranger? What's up, brother? How you doing? You're at work? You have to be quiet so you don't get busted, man. We feel that, man. We feel that. Yeah. We're off today. We work on the weekends. Yeah. Well, I do anyway. I don't know about Kevin. You got work this Saturday? No, actually, I'm off the rest of the Good month. for you. The whole month I'm off because... The whole rest of February from the second job? Right. I can pick it up because stuff comes up constantly where they need right. people. I no, can do that. Off. But I, I'm off, yeah. Build so, a toy room. I you need to. A collection video, man. I need to do that. That's the plans for this year. But I think this is pretty legit still, even so though... Someone's going to win that Alundra Blaze in hour one of tonight's stream. That's 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central. Right. All you have to do is be in the chat when he picks a winner. If you're not there, we will pick someone who is there. <clears throat> and we're going to make it fair. We're going to uh, actually open up a random picker, the random.org picker everybody uses. And I'm just gonna type in the names as the first hour goes. You gotta come in, you gotta say, hey, enter me. So I'll and enter you if you ask to be entered, and then we'll use that to pick a winner. All of the tag team members are not eligible to enter. So this is going to viewers. It's gonna be fair. Yeah, we're gonna keep all ourselves out of it. What's it's for you guys. We have a we have plastic addiction, but it's for you guys. It's for you guys, yeah. Oh my Rickers, what's up, brother? Scoot. How y'all doing this morning or evening? <laughs> hey, look, Scoot. In the house. Look, Scoot, man. Me and Scoot. Some more stickers for the tag team, homie. <laughs> Judson wants to be entered. Being on the side of the world ain't a good enough excuse, man. We need some stickers. Yeah. Man, <laughs> he, made, he made me some amazing stickers for uh, tag team. And I want to get those and send y'all some. And maybe we can give those out when you here and there. It's 6 a.m. over there. Wow, 6 a.m. Still need stickers. Guess what? <laughs> Judson says, enter me. <laughs> yeah, very cute. <clears throat> 6 a.m. Check out on my channel my mail call from Judson. I have a new uh, video type that I'm doing on my channel. It's called Tag Team Mail Call. And then I put the member of Tag Team who sent it. So, there's one with Blucher and there's one with Judson. Next week, or maybe by this weekend, I'll have one from Hot Cheetos. 
it's a new series I'm doing on my channel called Tag Team Mail Call. Okay, uh, oh my Rickers is asking for the rules again. So the rules on the giveaway, I hope my hair doesn't look bad. Mine does, and I don't care. Mine's graying up, though. Jeez. Looks good. It's still like, I mean, I'm starting to see the slight balding at the hair. <laughs> but, oh well. So anyway, <laughs> the rules are, what's up, God Tank? What's up, brother? How you doing? The rules are going to be, <clears throat> I have two gifts to give away. And I'm, we're going to do them at the end of every hour. We're going to try to keep the stream to two hours. You have to be in at the time we pick the win, though. So at the end of the first hour, we're going to pick a winner. What you got to do is sometime during the stream before the pick, you got to get in there and tell us, hey, enter me. I will add you to a random picker. That way it's fair. And then I'm going to put my camera uh, to the picker so y'all can actually see live as we pick it. That way you know there's no funny business. <clears throat> this is the first win. It's going to be an elite I picked up. I got it on clearance. Uh, she comes with half of the bed, and Razor Ramon comes with the other half. <clears throat> really good looking elite, though. So this is the first win. The second one is what I think is really, really nice, to be honest with you. The second one I actually want, but I got it before. I got it for you guys before I got it for myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I, I guess we're going to keep that one a secret, or... Yeah, I mean, yeah, you might as well. We don't have no secrets in the tag team. Yeah. <laughs> this is real talk. This is the hour two prize. The next Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> the fat Wolverine. With, hair, with them hair games you got going there. Yeah, I'm going to kind of start doing the little. Yeah, modify the lamb chops uh, side of yeah. facial hair. Lamb and have that little peak there like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I could probably do it. I got some of that uh, gel. That, what's my uh, stepson uses some gel that's like hardcore, man. It's like concrete. Oh, man. It turns it into like Lego bricks after five, five minutes. Yeah. And it has <laughs> little circles on it and you can snap pieces. Uh -huh. Nice. <laughs> Go ahead. Show these, show, show these monkeys with the hour two prizes. Okay, guys. So I was at Walmart looking through the stuff. And uh, this is one I wanted. It's going to be the Primal Clash. This is a Tiger. I think it's, in my opinion, the four that you see here in the wave, I think the Tiger is the best. So I decided to pick the Tiger up to give away <clears throat> our two prize. So at the end of the second hour, let us know you want in, and you got to be there when we pick it. It's gonna. I can't promise it's going to be exactly 9.59 East Central or 10.01. Right. So you want to be on there because if we call it, we'll maybe give you a minute to reply. You know, 60 yeah, seconds. The, win the winner of, of prize one is not allowed to enter that one. Let's be fair. Let's so everybody gets a chance to spread the wealth. So if you win our one, you're welcome to stay for the stream, of course. But do not expect to be entered in the drawing for prize two. So I think the he looks really cool. The primal clash are all the rage right now. It brings so many vibes of let's talk about the similarities between Dino Riders. And let's talk about the soldier characters themselves. They're G.I. Joe knockoffs. So it's hitting you in two different toy fields there. Dino Riders, G.I. Joe. Definitely. So it's pretty exciting. And I think... But the uh, main meat of tonight's stream is our toy <laughs> Us making predictions and discussing, you know, what's your dream thing to be revealed? Um um, I mean, there's already lots of juicy things going around on the internet about Disney acquisition of Mattel. Is it legit? It would explain why Mattel allowed the DC license to expire. They didn't renew. Obviously, there was some, you know, foresight involved here. I've been hearing in the Star Wars community, Star Wars being my favorite line, that Hasbro and Disney have had bad meetings in the last year, ever since the last Jedi toy lines, especially the three and three quarter and, sub and subpar. And you know, you can brain you can blame the director of Last Jedi all you want, but the numbers speak for themselves. People are not buying that shit. So
<clears throat> no doubt. <clears throat> yeah, there's uh, – I've kind of – crudely documented a lot of stuff I wanted to speak to uh, or just bring up tonight also. Awesome. About that toy so you fair. have an outline for us to... A rough outline, yeah. Just uh, I like that. Let's stick to the outline. I mean, we could go off the script a little too. I just I just want to bring up certain toys that... Mm -hmm. And maybe we can find them online to show pictures. Another but, uh, thing we got to discuss is this so-called rumor that Funko has fired their action figure division. Yeah, that 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 bumps me out because I think that's my favorite thing. I think about the Game of Thrones figs they made, as much as people like you have a few of those yourself. Yeah, Game of Thrones figures they made very well made figures, but they failed in the in the store. <clears throat> and I, I feel like you and Blucher love Savage Land. That's the one I figured that's doing well for them. I think. The Stranger Things figures. I mean, they were competing against McFarlane Stranger Thing toys, which look superior. The Funko figurines, like Funko had like uh, Pennywise, like it figures. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty excited about um, I, I I would be bummed because I've been very excited about that. Uh, the Primal Age Batman, the DC ones. I love those mm -hmm. five five point fives. That would be. So really Hector apparently out. got the grace call for that. <clears throat> I am so jealous. I can't wait to see him. Uh, he needs to review it. that in detail. We need like a tour of it. Like, what was that old show with the houses and they bring you in their house? Yeah. Yeah. For those episodes, but for that bat cave. That's right, God Tank. Uh, the stream I is rule legends and. What's up, Hyrule? How you doing, brother? He's about to hit 100 subscribers. That is so awesome. Been grinding real hard. He's he's a really good content maker. And he's just, got personality. He's not just boring, you know. If you love Nintendo, you love um, <coughs> other uh, collectibles outside of figures. You know, he's your guy. I know he's in the card game, 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 game. Yeah, he's a great channel. Please. Be part of the folks that get him past 100. So his content is great. He's a good dude. I agree with you, Judson. McFarland figs, they got to get that stranger thing and keep going with all that stuff. They, I'm super excited about him putting them, uh, that company putting out DC. Because I, I don't know. I think the, the Fortnite figures, like as far mm -hmm. as. Their articulation, just the look yeah. of the body molds. I think that can mm -hmm. compete with legends. They, uh, they, they definitely introduced something that he's always been criticized for right. lack of articulation with skulls. And but those, he, says, he does it on purpose, like he says. Yeah, I can easily, I can do any of that stuff you do. But I, I like to put in on a look. The Fortnite figures, their posability is insane. Yeah, definitely. Speaking of which, uh, Judson is after the cuddle team leader. If that's its name, the teddy bear chick, the furry, the somebody pink. has one of those uh, and you're good terms with the tag team, please contact Judson. He is looking to get that. He's looking to pay retail and shipping, non-scalper. Help our friend out if you have the ability to. We would appreciate it. We would shout you out. You know, there's good things. You're good to the, get the tag team. The tag team will be good to you. Definitely. What's up, Cody? There's two prizes, hour one, hour two. Two prizes total. The first one I think is nice. I think the second one is really nice. So I would definitely try to take a shot at at least one of them. You're, you're going to have a lot more universal appear with prize two. And then you have a dedicated group of wrestler fans. Like Lundra is sport a She's still so famous for how she jumped ship and went to night and went to uh, you know Nitro and dropped the uh, WWE Women's Belt in the trash can on TV. And she she was like, <clears throat> what these new divas are and the new female performers are like setting themselves up on these bars. She was doing that twenty years ago. 
she was not an overly sexualized like uh, ring entrance girl who could wrestle. She was a woman, a female pro wrestler, and she went hard in the ring. Her and Luna Vachon, you remember Luna Vachon, Shawn Michaels over there? Her and her, like, they had some wars, her and Alundra, the WWF. <coughs> it makes you take it serious, huh? <laughs> when you start seeing them really strap, you know it's for real. She's actually a, uh, she, what is it? Josh uh, now professionally today. Yeah. Wow. Hundred does. A lot of people don't consider that a sport, but it is not easy handling those beasts. That's right. It takes a lot of concentration and physicality too. For sure. Uh, Scooter asked, he was wondering if we had a recent release of the T NECA TMNT. <laughs> yeah, that's the biggest Hector, thing this week. Hector, old money bags in the tag team, he's got them. Uh, what I've noticed also is like uh, the two or three GameStops, these are GameStop exclusive releases down here, Scooter, which I guess in some countries it's EB Sports, right, in Canada. But uh, – <clears throat> I've noticed down here anyway, in the area that I'm in, is you're only getting them if you pre-ordered them. They don't have extra stock for the any of the floors that I've been to, any of the stores themselves. I have not seen them, and that's like three stores. But I hear that if you pre-ordered them, they get in just specifically what was called in. What's up, Ryan? How you doing, brother? I've not seen those babies in person. I say they're incredible. I think I, I was telling, uh, well, I posted on uh, Hector's review of them. I, I think, even though it's very early in the month, that they're in the running for best six inch action figure of the year. I don't know. I just think they're well, that. Well, a lot of people up. put the SD version, like <coughs> look at the, the top five figures that Brock did with Do Dog and Tech Chucker and Plastic Addict. Tech Chucker had the SDCC turtles like yeah. in his top five. Right. If they weren't in the number one slot, they were two. Yeah. Tech Chucker is a good resource if you want to see a comparison. He has both sets. And he literally does a video where he has the four SDC ones and then the four from GameStop side by side. And he compares the paint, the weapons. There are some very narrow variations in those things. Right, yeah. They're definitely uh, – Judson says they're seven-inch scale. Oh, that's good. Australia has uh, EB Games there. That's good. EB Games is still a thing over there, huh? I've never seen an EB Games myself. In, your, in real life, for real? Yeah, I've never been to one or seen one. Before, when GameStop – had just changed its name to GameStop. EB was like its biggest competition, oh. electronic boutique. And they were always like five to ten dollars higher than GameStop on everything. Like they were like this overpriced mall video game store. Bye, Marvel Ranger. Later, buddy. Tell uh, anyone you know about they want shot at. Some free toys that Kevin is bestowing. We got lagging toys in the heezy. What's up, Jimmy? How you doing, brother? <clears throat> hey, uh, Scooter, I would like to see y'all do a, an EB Games. I've never seen one. I would, I would like to see the inside of that place if you can sneak in there and get a little bit of footage. <laughs> Hey, brother Dondi. Dondi in the house. I ain't get your package in the mail yet, brother. I will, though, tomorrow. But I'm super guilty of that. I have, uh, I'm working on a package for you, uh, David, Dondi, and I think one other one, and definitely need uh, whatever is one tonight. I need to get on it. I'm one of the worst, man. I could take me an Still, extra. Uh, Show Dondi what our two's prize is. <clears throat> Dondi, check this out. This is what's uh, 
This is our two gift uh, giveaway. It's going to be the Dino Wrangler. It's the, the tiger I got. They had the whole wave, but the tiger is the one That's that cool. I like the most. And that machete on the side comes out. That is sweet looking. And then that little pistol, I'm pretty sure he's got a, a holster for his pistol. Yeah, because the other guy that I got has a holster on yeah. one side. They didn't really go crazy on the paint of those dudes, but the functionality and the articulation of them is. Yeah, for sure. The, the figures themselves are. Like, if it had been all three things were bad on them, it'd be bad. But it's just the lack of paint. And these little guys, the 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 the, the animals themselves have weight to them. Like they're just uh, yeah. a yeah, level. You were talking about that, so you would put these animals in the same quality as kind of like the dogs you bought at Tractor Supply. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Right. And these have Go a little bit. no, not this one. The big one I have uh, has articulation to the head. This one doesn't. Yeah, the uh, mammoth. Yeah, the yeah. goes back. The mammoth has a little bit of articulation. These don't have any, so. Of course, uh, I, I worked out a deal with um, Dondi, so he doesn't have to worry about winning it. If he wins it, it's just extra. <laughs> Dondi can't win it. <laughs> God, Cody. <laughs> Maybe a bunch of us, we slack a little when it comes to melon stuff. I'm bad about having to get it. I, I don't know, just packaging and going to the post office, and dealing with the craziness there. Little old ladies trying to beat me up. Yeah, uh, Jimmy, I, I'm one that has uh, definitely, I search eBay constantly just out of boredom. And any vintage line, just as an example, the Dino Riders, I look at every week. Those suckers are expensive. You can get like a, a small dyno mm -hmm. with uh, the like the gear as far as the saddle and the weapons and a figure. Probably 20, 25 bucks tiny. But if you want yeah. any of the medium and up, I mean it's a big chunk the of The ones that were five dollars in the eighties are twenty five dollars now. Yeah, and everything up goes up into the hundreds. Oh you know the bigger those? ones. Overkill has the T Rex, but I don't think he has any of the Stuff for it anymore. Damn Uber Hulk and his shenanigans. <laughs> Uber. No. So tell Uber Hulk you can win tonight in the stream, you can win a lunge of blaze. Uber, if you get on the stream tonight and you enter our giveaways. I'll uh, give you a signed autograph from none other than the one, the only, whatever her name is. Alundra Blaze. Alundra Blaze. I can't remember what her WCW name was. It was different. Oh, yeah, partner. Hey, there's Jaime. Jaime Velasquez has oh, some yeah, cool, what's up? Uh, footage from a toy show he did last weekend in Chi Town. And, uh, man, he got some amazing figures. And he had a homie, someone who's coming out of retirement on YouTube. They found some amazing <clears throat> and NECA figures at less than retail prices. We need to get a Jaime on some of our streams, man. I would love him I would to show love to have Jaime on. That there. guy picks up some of the best. He has, like, good quality. Oh, stuff. his collection is his, where his shelves inner. Inner, inner twine right there, yeah. and it's just horror goodness everywhere. And then his Star Wars shelf, and it's all immaculate. Mine's like the great value version of what Jaime had. Jane, Jaime had. Most definitely. Are we crazy, bud, having a stream tonight? I mean, I know that I bought my wife. I got free wife approval. Is it a trick, though? Because you know how sometimes they like to trick us. No, no, no. It's not a trick. First of all, she's ill. She's on medicine. <clears throat> she's a doctor. I bought her drive through fast food. So that's it. I'm good. We watched The Birdcage last night on Netflix. 
I love that movie. It's so great. All these years later, it's still so funny. It's still, yeah. Oh my God, Robin Williams, man. He's the man. I was actually like hurt when he passed away. Sure. I was like really hurt, like, and uh, and I know it's not a good thing to hear that he was finally diagnosed with dementia. Is why he did it. It gave me a piece of peace of mind though that at least something was there. I could. I just hated to see him that you know depression eating him alive. Just if it was just depression and. That would have been harder on me than at least there's a, a reason for it. The same thing with like wrestlers. There's a lot of wrestlers that do horrible things, but it's they took so many hits in life to the head, they ended up getting dementia, and they're not. It's not their fault anymore. You know, they're not in the right state of mind, like like uh, the Wolverine, you know, and <clears throat> the Canadian Crippler. Those guys test the people that like were amazing, and I hated to see how they went out. But at least it's not like they did it of their own volition, like their own choice. There was actually mental issues sure. there because of their careers. Yeah. I feel better. I mean, but I still hated losing Robin Williams. He's yeah, oh yeah. He was one of my favorites since I was, you know, a little. He was been out and he was an awesome person for sure. Speaking of electronic boutique, I had a buddy that I used to play World of Warcraft with, and he lived out west somewhere. I'm thinking Utah-ish. He went to, at the time, there was that real-time strategy Star Wars game that was about to hit PC. Um, so this is like after Warcraft, but before this. It was kind of like Command & Conquer, but with Star Wars stuff, right? Yeah. So he goes to his local... What? Uh, oh, no the same game, buying shit, signing autographs, it's just be he gets home, he tells everybody like he's he met Robin Williams at his game store. What a <clears throat> that would be so incredible. You know he was a gamer, Robin. Yeah. He actually named his daughter Zelda. <laughs> That's cool. I didn't know that. Yeah, his daughter is named Zelda. You know you love it. That's the case. <laughs> Jaime, Jaime, do you have an action figure of Robin Williams? Hey, Hot Cheetos is in the chat. What's up, my friend? Hot Cheeto fingers in the heezy. You're staying safe on the road, I hope. Making that fig money. Yeah, man, he's uh, he's doing his thing. I need to see some uh, Hot Cheeto fingers. Uh, Custom work videos. I need to see some. You'll Have get there. Cross. <laughs> Your boy just be whooped by the time he gets to the house. I bet. One boy just wants to sleep when he's all. No doubt. No doubt. Oh, you're on vacation. Good for you. Oh, so yeah. Fix is about to be customized. <clears throat> he needs. He's another one that needs to start jumping on here with us at night uh, when he has. Yeah, we'd love to have you if you're available. Um, it's eight p.m. Central, so I believe he's the next one over. He's Mountain, so it'd be seven o'clock your time if you want to come on. Would, he could add you on uh, Hangouts. We'd love to have you, bro. You are part of the tag team. We're so happy to have you in the tag team. OBM in the house. Burr, burr, burr. He's going to be my next video in my tag team mail call series. I'm tracking the package. It's in, it's somewhere in Ohio right now, hot Cheeto fingers. So it like went above me and now they got to bring it down. So I'm thinking probably Saturday ish. Later, Cody. Take care, brother. Have a good one. Don't work too hard. Hey, Hot Cheeto says he's down for tonight. Make sure you have wife approval now. We're not trying to get a dude murdered on his vacation. No. <laughs> you end up on that show on Discovery Health, man. She almost got away with it, whatever it's called. <laughs> <laughs> Most definitely, yeah. And uh, also, if you don't, I don't know, uh, Dondi, if you have anything going on, he says he gets out of work at nine. 
if you got stuff, we completely understand. But if you have free yeah, we'd love to have you on the second hour, Dondi, for sure. But if Emily beats you, we're going to have to take her side. Yeah, man. We can't <laughs> have you on there all bloody and bruised like you was on Punisher Season 2. <laughs> Dealing with jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> Can we talk about... First of all, let me bring up. Um, <laughs> it is officially canceled, by the way. Uh, is it? Netflix did cancel Punisher now. There is no Season 3. So now Hulu is telling... Marvel Disney, they will gladly renew all of the shows canceled by Netflix on their service. Really? Wow. But there's no answer on Disney's end yet. Yeah, because I thought it was going to be one reason to, to get the Disney streaming now was that. Now they're saying that the Netflix shows are too violent to be on that product. That makes sense. So I it agree. needs to be on a more adult streaming service. <clears throat> Why Netflix wouldn't pay them what they need to keep the rights. But I hear rumors that Netflix is in ridiculous amounts of debt. What they spent making original content, making these shows and movies versus what they're bringing in on their subscription base. Because, you know, there's only about 50 people in the world that are paying for Netflix. Everyone else is using someone else's password. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke about that uh bird. What was the bird show? The bird, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're like trying to find out how did half a million people watch Bird Flu or whatever it was <laughs> with seventeen accounts. Bird Box. <laughs> yeah, Bird Box with twenty accounts. <laughs> you know what Bird Box is? That's when David Blucher orders them raptors that have feathers on them from Mattel. That's a Bird Box. The Bird Box. Or when I go to KFC and I order a three-piece breast chicken and wing, man. That's a bird box. It's a bird box for five bucks. All right, I have those five-dollar boxes. My wife likes the the one that's a mix. It's like a goulash. Okay, homie. We'll see you tonight, then, hopefully. <clears throat> ah, we got you. We understand. It's cool. Love to have you. We're giving some stuff away. Kev's got two prizes. The two stream. First hour is a wrestler. Second hour, primal clash. Gonna be a good time. What's good, lag? It was a year ago, dude, that I won your guess how many heart candies are in the jar. That's right, you won that one, right? <laughs> yeah, last last Valentine's. That's right. And uh, it was a mystery box, right, with the Batman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think it, I threw the Batman, Batman in there. Fig. I figured that you had found at one of your many flea market homes. And I was like, <clears throat> I messaged you about it. I said, man, that Batman looks really good. <laughs> and you threw him in my box for me all laying yet. I think Judson won the same way. I did some kind of candy count. And two people, though. He wasn't the only one. Two people guessed exactly the number. That's in there. I heard you got a giant machine. Finally. I got a giant machine. Yeah, I got that exact one for 10 bucks. Oh, you got him in giant machine mode, or you put his this? I put that head. I like that head better. <laughs> but uh, 10 bucks, man. Nice. Out. Long game. Later, Dundee. Take it easy, man. <laughs> Someone heard snoring, buddy. That's my wife. Oh. <laughs> yeah, man, it sucks when you get all congested, the sinuses or the upper airway. Oh, that's terrible. My uh, stepdaughter, she's 13 now, right? Well, I've known her since she was four. And uh, when I met her, four-year-old, she's real petite, real skinny, right? Just tiny little thing. Well, her uh, the tonsils and abnoids were so inflamed that she sounded like, like a 40-year-old dude. Like she snored, like her. She thought it was a demon coming at you. And this is a little bitty girl that's like three foot tall at the most and 15 mm. pounds. And she'd be like, <laughs> that's, I think I know why Kevin is working on his fourth marriage right now because he's live streaming on Valentine's Day. <laughs> I know. I didn't really even ask her, to be honest with you. I just. 
I told her. Uh, there may not be a stream, y'all. He may not make it. If I survive, though, I'll have to be doing it from like work. I'll have to go live over there. But to be honest with you, I forgot about Valentine's Day in my defense. <laughs> I don't know if that's a defense, but to be honest, she's doing all this stuff out of town, and I didn't think she was going to be here today. So I told her I, I got off of Wednesday so we could spend time together Wednesday. That's why, because we normally do Wednesday. Mm. That's why we're doing it Thursday because I thought you were leaving Thursday. And she's like, no, I leave Friday. So I was like, oh, shit. And I'm like West Side. I'm almost forty five. I'm gangster. West Side. I'm almost forty. <laughs> you don't think I've had a wife shoot me before? <laughs> He's already been down that. <clears throat> I think she'll be okay. I bought her flowers. Hey, smart man. Roses too. I sprung the extra three dollars. I got my wife like she's wanting to get into uh, container gardening. Oh, okay. So I got her like a few things to start her off. <laughs> That's cool. I bet that'd be fun. You have the space to do it. Yeah. She's been watching like these uh, YouTubers. They got a YouTube for everything, as you know. Everything. There's these people that uh, do channels about putting seeds and making hybrid this and that and growing. Yeah. And they're pretty big channels, man. You'd be surprised. Yeah, there's people, like you said, there's people for everything. Then, whatever your interest is, it's it's represented here on YouTube. <clears throat> Most there's somebody definitely. yapping about what you're thinking about on YouTube. It's there. <clears throat> Just a matter of making those connections. And I'm all about like us like helping each other grow. Like we had nowadays or recently we got hooked up with all these uh Pokemon card people, and I never even thought, you know, that there would be a. I know that oh, like those were, that's a channel type. Yeah, yeah, I know they have a big your card YouTube. guys. Your card guys. Oh God, <laughs> the views and the and the subs those dudes get. Is, uh, yeah, the package openings. <clears throat> Overkill, he dabbles in that a little bit. Oh yeah, he's the only one that I've ever seen though, because I didn't realize. I guess I just wasn't thinking that there was a huge following. Yeah. And then, so I watch his openings, and now I see all these other guys, and they're doing really good. And it's cool that we're toy groups, but they can link us. Yeah, we all have that common denominator factor. Sure. I mean, just because you and I collect toys doesn't mean that our background isn't in other stuff. Because as a child, I, I still have like three or four thousand cards that I've collected from sports, non-sports. I, I can I can see that. You know, I, I enjoy those shows, those guys' videos. <clears throat> I really love like uh, DC, Marvel, and like Garbage Pill Kid type cards mm -hmm. and like movie cards. But mm -hmm. <clears throat> I, I recently in a my live thrift video, I did a live stream at my lo uh, the thrift store that I really like to go to. They had uh, a full sheet of cards, mm -hmm. all vintage Pokemon. I think the early nineties. Yeah, I'm the price on it. I'm not sure. I didn't really pay attention, but probably high. Yeah, if it's high, but if it's not, I'm gonna probably end up picking them up because I love collecting. If it's original stuff, like, and if it has anything from Japan on it and the and like small print, it's really valuable. Because <laughs> before it hit, before it became so huge in the U.S., it was Nintendo called it Pocket Monsters in Japan. Yeah. And then in England, over here in the States, it went by Pokemon. You know, the guy that created Pokemon, Kevin, was a dude that worked for Nintendo for a, for a little sub company under Nintendo called uh, Game Freak. And he was considered a, a, a mid-level programmer. He lived with his parents, and he was over 25. So in their culture, he was not a successful man. But then he came up with Pokemon and sold it to Nintendo, and now... <laughs> He's iconic. He's going to forever yeah. be in history books. Like, he was... 
Uh, from one overnight, he went from being a disgrace to his family in that culture to being, you know, this dude invented Pokemon. He's filthy rich. Yeah, what a comeback, huh? <laughs> I love stories like that. Yeah. You already had the sword out like the summarize? Yeah, yeah. Like this summer right here. Much, I, I think by 30, his parents were expecting him to do that. <laughs> Just See, I, go I ahead. And he's like, you never mind. This always reminds me. Honor first. I'm just kidding. I think I found that on a wall. <laughs> That's my most gruesome one. The summer I had in this one right here, where when I first got this sewed up, I remember having patients that thought this was real because it was like swollen. It looked real. And the old ladies were like, ah, it's scary. <laughs> they made me cover it up. When are you going to kid bash a you, a six inch you? Oh, man. I guess uh, I <laughs> ideas like some people. What's up, El Chambo? What's up, brother? El Chambo's in the chat. He's in the heezy for sheezy. We can find him up in one tweezy. Might as well show him what we're giving away tonight. All right. I'm off, El Chambo. This is my Sunday. Chambo, I got a bunch of Ativan I'm going to be giving. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Who wants this out of man? <laughs> Don't shake that too loud on the internet, man. You get... <laughs> right? I won't be able to do it tonight either. I'll be kicked. They'll come rushing. <clears throat> so give them the rundown, buddy, about the hours and whatnot. Yeah, we're doing the first hour giveaway. Kev's being so generous. He's giving away that WWE, Alundra Blaze. She's a legend in the sport. Um, she that is an elite figure the articulation is is everything that mattel offers in the line it's a flashback fig she comes with one half of the heart bed right so you would only need razor ramon to complete that part of the set and the first hour he'll be picking the winner for that you do need to be in the chat uh to win it that's fair uh, all of the tag team members are not eligible to enter. This is just for the viewers. And then hour two, and this all starts at 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central. Hour two, he's giving away the, all these things are just the hottest thing right now in collectibles. Like this line came out of nowhere, Lantern Toys. It's a Walmart exclusive product. It's uh, the mid-range product they offer for this line. Comes with one G.I. Joe size soldier character and the animal. It's a saber tooth. It looks sick. It's got a turret on the butt. When you have a saber tooth and there's a machine gun turret on the butt, you know you found something. That's our two prize. So. We do ask that you like the stream, share the stream, you know, do what you can to support Kevin's efforts, you know, support the channel. Subscribe. We can't follow up whether you share or not, but, you know, it <clears throat> yep. us. We want to make it a thing to where we can at least at least once a month, maybe twice a month, do some kind of giveaways. Yeah, and all the other members will help you, boss. It won't be just your yeah. Figure everybody your torch to carry. I'll, I'll a little something. One. Let me do March. I'll do something in March. And we got to keep away Venom Fang somehow, some way. Oh yeah. <laughs> we have <laughs> Poor to Venom. Learn, we have to sit Venom Fang down and tell him. Sometimes you have to give stuff too, not just take. Sometimes you have to give. It's like, he needs to use his powers for good. We need to do a Sesame Street session with him that explains the difference <laughs> between winning and giving. <laughs> Poor Venom. He needs to learn to use his powers for the good. You know, with great power <laughs> comes great responsibility. We got some big battles coming up here. Jaime Velasquez, who was in the chat earlier, his. 200 sub giveaway. He's giving away awesome toys. It's the Captain Marvel food. Or the new Optimus, right? From Siege. Mm. That'd be awesome. So 
I'm battling Venom Fang for that one. And then Chombo, he's going to be doing a Dio at 300 if he's not already there. There's a lot of, man, people are excited about that too. Uh, NYC inspired Dio. It's going to be amazing. Six, six, six inch scale. Do you think it's going to look good with uh, all of Rennie's Marvel Legends? <laughs> He's got a lot of legends, bro. He One thing you can't take away from Venom Fan is the boy is king of the baths. <clears throat> yeah, he's got an amazing He is set. legit the Hasbro Marvel Legend Bath King. Very impressive. So he's 25 away. Shout out to El Chombo. If you're not familiar with that channel, he's an awesome collector, creator, diorama, uh, imaginator. He's kind of like Walt Disney, but on a dio scale. Yeah. And he plays the drums. And he's a Yankee fan. I love the Yankees. I thought we had an amazing season last year. I think so I think they have a lot of potential. <coughs> Make this baseball season. There's like a lot of really good diorama builders out there. The one thing that really gets me about El Chambo's designs is the way he gets that organic texture to his stuff. I mean, that's the Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah, what the, the chisel. Yeah, the, the, the details. He knows how to brush where it needs to be brushed and to make it look. I love the one he did for Star Wars. It was the three and three quarter inch scale Rancor pit. Looked amazing. Impressive, yeah. And it was like, it had the walls, the roof. Like it was. Mm -hmm. he'll, he'll get screen grabs and screen stills and go off of that. And it's incredible. Man cave, man. The NYC man cave. Oh, yeah. I think what I'm going to end up doing soon for my, uh, just for my little section where I do reviews is I want to go and buy a slab of that foam board that they all use and just try to, nothing crazy. I just want to give it that brick look. I see how they paint it a little dark and red, make it mm -hmm. look like brick. That's it. Mm -hmm. And I might hang little pictures of. I'm so bad at that kind of stuff, man. <clears throat> I would get the white foam. And try and do a snow dio, and it would still look wrong. <laughs> just, I just don't have the, uh, I don't have the hand skills for that. I just, uh, I can envision it. I just can't make it flourish in the real world. <laughs> the ramp corporate, yeah, very sick. Chumbo's an incredible creator and a supporter. And if you are a tuber and you let him know, he will check your content out. He's genuine. He'll sub you back. He's one of those guys. He's not. Uh, he's real. And he always has a nice haircut, man. I wish I'd like. Oh, yeah. His hair is always on. <laughs> he's always clean and everything. And I look yeah. like he came out of the woods. I'm like, what's going right? <laughs> we used a bunch of hobos in the yeah. I, hey, this beard is like cut down. Y'all should be grateful. <laughs> I need a haircut, but my problem is I just like my wife cutting my hair. <clears throat> Press wire board into gives brick pattern. Oh. So the paint the, the grid. Do you do you paint it red first and then do that or after? It'll leave the lines. I've seen people go back where the lines are and put a little bit of black so it kind of gives like it black to distinguish it. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if that's that thing after. Okay, gotcha. But mine, I, I need it like a little, I want mine like a certain width and a certain height. Because of the area that I work with, it's actually a lot. I want it wider than the foam board I use right now, like yeah. macaroni or mustard. I don't know what the hell the stains are. Shadows first. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to go back. In the background is my my ill wife. She passed out on the couch. She's on medication. So, just so y'all know. <laughs> Is anybody questioning it again? 
No, I just want to. They're probably wondering what the heck. <laughs> <laughs> These are not the robots you're looking for. Yeah, I want to. I want to give that a. Like I said, I don't want to do a crazy detail the first time. I just want to do a background brick wall. I would and, love. I would love to do like an audience, a WWE audience, to put behind my ring. That would be cool. Like a, but it looks like it's the stadium, you know. Yeah. And it could be like really low detail on the faces and stuff. It just needs to. You just need to understand when you see it what it is. It needs to come off. Right. Easily recognizable. Yeah. Right. What did uh what did uh, Hector have? I've seen Hector have some cutouts Hector there, like Hector has like, yeah. He's got the freaking little curtains they come out of and everything. I mean, he's got the barriers. <clears throat> I sound like a droid. And- and he actually has a, a stadium with, like, figs as the audience. That is awesome. <laughs> like, he's got legends sitting in the audience, ones that aren't on his shelves. Yeah. He'll put them in his arena in the, in the, in the stands. Yeah, it's impressive. That boy owns a lot of figures, man. <laughs> he does. I like seeing him, too. He has a I lot like of figures. Face. Yeah, he's about to hit 500. That's that's impressive. Man, he's put in the work, dude. He's put in the work. He's made the videos. He's up to his, his thumbnail game. I feel like it's coming in good for him now, like a steady roll. All the advice we gave him these last few months, he's taken it and he's just ran with it. And he's he's grown his channel. <clears throat> and it's a good thing also he didn't he didn't completely exclude like uh the pop people. I think it's being diverse, kind of spreading yeah. out like that is helping a lot. Yeah. We're talking about Elite Legends Toys and Collectibles. He's part of the tag team. If you're not already familiar with him, he has Mattel figures. He stops at a certain year, but he buys a lot of wrestlers. And he's Marvel Legends. He's mostly a comic guy, but I know I've seen him cop the entire Marvel Captain Marvel wave, even though that's not comic book. That's MCU. He buys everything, man. <clears throat> He's got a giveaway at some point too. A Marvel Legends thing. He's supposed to be doing a, a what a pop. Pop a thing. Wrestler and a, Yeah. So that's a that's one to yeah. go and sub him and keep up with when he posts stuff. So I think we got the point across. Yeah. Tonight, Tonight guys. It's in it's in six hours from now. In six hours. Here's the hour next, one, hour two. Next week we're gonna do hopefully next week we'll be doing Star Wars Archive and I'm gonna do uh probably Funko Mystery. I might yeah, the Funko Mystery box and maybe I'll go and get Razor. That way you can make the full bed, you know, or someone might be able to I'll have something for the one we do in March. <clears throat> And of course, like anybody that knows for sure you're going to be on the night, we're going to be talking about like the New York Toy Fair. Yeah, Toy Fair. Please so, bring your whatever rumors you've heard or whatever insight you might have. Definitely share it with us if you know anything, heard anything, seen anything. Thank you for Nightwalker. Judson, we hope you have a wonderful time with the missus yeah get better and have fun i'm glad that uh funko j he's very talented but they're just now starting to show his work and i'm happy that his work is getting out there because he's a talented artist i love the work he's been doing the paintings and all oh yeah and you'll like El Chambo because his he's very creative as well. Oh, imagine the real two guys syncing up. Yeah, all. y'all need to sync up. You'll, you I'm guys could uh, be bigger than Guillermo del Toro. And he's hard to get bigger than. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see that EB Games also, uh, Scoot, if y'all get to run and through the there. Oh, bloke with the tattoos. 
yeah. You see, you see, uh, Scoot. He's he's bearded and gangstered up, just like the rest of us. He's all inked up, hardcore. That's you know what I always got a kick out of that is uh when you think in your mind of a toy collector hunter. When I think about it, I see people like uh, Pixel Dan, you know, clean cut, family. But then in real life, when you actually see us, everybody's all gangster, man. There's there's beards, tattoos, piercings. It's like total opposite of what you would think toy Talker collectors art. would look like. Like Talker, Talker art. art. Yeah. yeah, fully inked up. It's hilarious. Oh, sh yo. Yeah, I'm excited for tonight. It's going to be great. I'll hope to... Uh, oh, come on. Bill Collector. <laughs> Y'all have that problem? I have a problem uh, where, where we have the uh, those automated systems. They put your phone number on, and you get called from around the United States, like, every day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> robocalls? <laughs> yeah, robocalls. Yeah, they said it. Somebody said something recently that expect those calls to get even worse here in the next few days. It has something to do with ripping people off from their taxes. Damn it. Yeah, uh, Scooter, that would be amazing. What's up, Thor? How you doing, brother? What Thor's in there? <clears throat> 2941. He's been oh, sweet, while. yeah. Well, Fredo, that's my friend. Yeah. What's up, well, Fredo? Yeah, he just got his old lady blessed him with King Shark for Valentine's today. Man, that is amazing. I'm like really uh, bummed. I had King you used Shark. to have that guy. <laughs> I still kick myself for trading him away, but for that puppet, I wouldn't have done that. But. The puppet's still worth twice what he is, though. I know, but. But I love street sharks. <laughs> you you just thought you'd be able to run pieces again, and then he became scarce. But you know what? I get attached to everything. Like I don't I don't ever like sell my stuff. Like I just can't get rid of it. But when I do trades, I miss everything I trade away. Still, yeah. like I've traded a a day of a lot of vintage for vintage. Yeah. And I miss the vintage stuff I traded away, even if it's doubles. Isn't that weird? I could have a double or something, and I miss the double. Like I get attached to stuff, especially when you go find it in someone's yard or a thrift. Store. I don't know. I just have a connection with it. <clears throat> Man, I have a, a ton of biker mice from Mars. I want to start doing a regular Thursday. Uh, Throwback Thursday yeah, reviews. Over, over the stuff I already have. But the problem is the way it's all stored, I need to go through everything to dig up. A pile yeah, of the same man. stuff. You need your room. I need my room because I've got you need your toy room. It's a necessity. I have some big, like I have the vehicle sets from Biker Mice from Mars. I have a bunch of the figures. One day, buddy, one day it's gonna happen. It is gonna happen. I need y'all to put up the cross, Jesus Christos, and give me I, some something powers. What is the candle for? Uh... Whose candle do we get? Whoever the patron uh, saint of toys is. <laughs> <laughs> That's Lucifer. Aw, oh, man. Guadalupe. <laughs> I know that guy. <laughs> man, someone, uh, I can't remember. I'm going to feel bad now. I just saw a video yesterday. This guy scored an early 90s complete Voltron mm. it was glorious he got it he got it a a trade too he traded yeah cannot remember who it was I just watched the, the real video. deal huh the, the one I had I had one in that at that time too back in the days one huh yeah it was a great score for him it sucks when I'm telling a story and I can't remember who I feel bad <laughs> my memory's gone man but I watch everybody's videos even if I fall behind almost a week I start tracking he really does. He's not. And you know, the, the hardest thing about it is like, you know, like, uh, I guess it's not like a terrible thing, but sometimes you want to be able to go hunting for yourself, you know, and just enjoy it. But oh well. Uh, 
oh yeah, you get a, your own room. I'm thinking about maybe buying like an add-on, like a metal building to do my toy room in and just run air conditioning and stuff. I don't know what I'm going to do yet because our house is too small. <clears throat> so all my stuff is stored away. Right, bud? Right. That's the problem with collectors is room is always an issue. I just can't wait for that video when you have everything standing. It's going to be glorious. Figs everywhere. My wife says if I were to, to build a room or do something outside of the house, that she'd never see me again. She goes, I know you're going to be in there. Gonna stay in that room. <laughs> Probably true. <laughs> She's working right now. She's at she works at a high school. She's a teacher and a nurse and a nurse teacher. That's teacher, what she does. nurse, and a nurse teacher. Yeah. Well, nowadays, you know how the high schools are. They actually give college. She gives. She teaches college uh, level courses in high school. In the high school, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's coming out with certificates to go to work immediately. <clears throat> and now she may start working in the college here to teach like a uh, stuff like phlebotomy, like lab work, drawing blood. And, El Chambo says he gets the same speech from his wife. <laughs> She's like, I'll never see you again. So many figures, you don't have space. When he was on vacation in Orlando, he had to like sneak hunt, like hide stuff in the trunk under their luggage because <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want her to be aware that he was buying more figures. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can. I can understand that. This is what one of the things he sent me from our from Hogan's shop. That is amazing, and the shirt you got, man, I love it. Yeah, Charlie has it. I'm Someone's too, enjoying it. <laughs> I'm too fat for it. it um, you're, cool shirt. You're eating healthier and stuff, my brother. He gets compliments every time he wears it. It's awesome, man. The colors. That, that color scheme, even if it did not say anything about Hulk, when you see that color, that's what comes to my mind. Those two color schemes, that, that means that's him. Like That's crazy when you're that big that just the colors alone would be identifiable. <laughs> my problem being a, a YouTuber and my wife, you know, it was like my very first subscriber when I started. You cannot mm -hmm. hide anything because you want to show everything you get. I mean, yeah. it's the content. Yeah, Sam has content. caught me like that, too. She's like, when did you buy that? She sees the video. Uh, pop up on her phone like mine. It, it, <laughs> I could be up at 3 in the morning. I'll release she's something. like, when did you buy that? Because I didn't have that budgeted. And I'm like, shit. <laughs> we're, the, we're the hardest ones to hide anything. <laughs> they get notified immediately in seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> it's terrible. <clears throat> like I wasn't supposed to buy Kane yesterday, but I did. But when you got it, that was the only one, right? Yeah, he was the only one. In see, that's a fear. Talk our wrestlers like crazy. But when you see that, like you know, one Kane, I couldn't leave him. Right. Because you don't know if you're going to see him again, really, to be like honest. The music was playing in my head when I saw him. You heard Kane's music? Yeah, Finger 11. Was there uh, sparkles and fire shooting out of all the posts of the ring? Uh, yeah. Somewhat. <laughs> he's like, <sighs> I could not leave this dude. No, he's too amazing. This is my first face scan fig. Look how that oh, looks like. I've been hoping it'd be. Now, there's a, an Undertaker that's equivalent to this. But the Undertaker is only on ringside collecting. That King Shark is so expensive now. Like, oh god, it shot up in the hundreds to get it's him. Like more, more expensive than a toy biz bag. For sure. So for her to, you owe her a good meal. If you're gonna take her out just for dinner, it yeah, better be it better skip Taco Bell, skip Wiener Schnitzel. <laughs> That's where we went Taco Bell today after the doctor. Oh, man. I haven't had Taco Bell since I was hospitalized. Uh, nacho fries are back. Oh, they're back? Yeah. But I haven't not eaten out fast food since the beginning of December. When I got hospitalized, I had to give it up for a long time. And I love friggin' Taco Bell. Well, most white people love Taco Bell. 
It was hard to give up, man. Cheeto, yes. What I'm getting in the mail from you is my Valentine approved purchase from the wife, gift to me. That Undertaker. Oh, I didn't know SH Figure Arts made an Undertaker. There's an SH Figure Arts taker? That's got to be dope. Didn't they make uh, The Rock? And I remember seeing in Toys R Us when they had The I've Rock. Seen Austin and Rock, yeah. Austin, they, were yeah. A taker. they look small. I know they're supposed to be six inch, but they look smaller. They do look small. The thing about SH that freaked me out is the the way you can change the uh, faces on them is kind of weird looking. Yeah, that's crazy. That Are hollow you, head and you. Even the eyeballs. You can change out the like, eyeballs. Uh, something out of Westworld. Now that I'm dressing up my uh, Figma One Punch Man, I'm putting. I like him even more yeah, now I've that I've seen I'm, that. Oh. Yeah, I've seen you put some clothes on him. He's got a cowboy Bob Orton's hat. I love it. He's got the hat, and then he's got a he's got Leia's vest, and it's all the color. It matches his uh, gloves. And that's why your uh, Leia's like. I took him from old Leia. Now I got young Leia out. Oh, old Leia's clothes. Yeah, old Leia comes with the vest. Young General Leia, Leia. Yeah, General Leia. The uh, young Leia that I have, that's the 40th anniversary New Hope. Without the white, the soft goods. Right. I took the soft goods off. I was hoping to use them on someone else, but she's so skinny, no one fits into it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do some custom work to her because that onesie kind of looks. Like it comes up to the neck and it ends like there's no definitive line like to show that it's closed. So I'm gonna do something, <clears throat> or maybe I can send it to one of these painting geniuses and they can touch it up for me because I know I'll screw it up. I would like to make it into like a two piece. No, but you're pretty, you're pretty good at it. I shake a lot. I cannot handle. I can't stop my shaking. It messes me up a lot. Gotcha. <clears throat> I'm pretty excited. Also, I, I uh, still thinking about doing that sitcom superhero series. I want to do that's kind sitcom of like a superhero series. Yeah, it's gonna be like a robot chicken kind of, but I'm gonna put a ton of special effects into it. What? Yeah, it's gonna be like Batman yeah. and Robin, but it's gonna be Fat Man and Rodman. <laughs> I'm gonna do uh, I'm, trying, yeah. I'm gonna do Fat Bastard. He's gonna be a superhero. And uh, Dennis Rodman's going to be, he's going to have actually a, a Robin outfit on, but it, you could tell it's him. I ordered the toys and everything. That's going to be dope, dude. I'm going to try to make it super funny. And if I can make it short, like five, ten minutes. Yeah. And Someone make like. Watch it at work on their break. And right. Something quick to got, watch. That's got, the, uh, that's got the potential, man. <clears throat> I've, I've been viral here. for you. I hope so. I just want to make it fun for like. You're view. already getting audience in Europe, like I was telling you today. That's awesome. Uh, what I get now also, like when I do uh, videos, YouTube will tell me, oh, this is blocked in India or this is blocked in Asia. But it'll still play in America. I, I still will take it down because I want to make it available to everybody. I'll take it down. I'll edit what I need to, and I'll kick it back in there. Yeah, uh, I ordered hot the fat bastard figure for this project I'm doing. So I ordered it online along with Dennis Rodman from the 90s because I'm going to make them both into a dynamic duo su superhero. It's going to be cool. I have like everybody all kinds of different figures I'm going to use as a regular. Mm -hmm. Basically, they're going to be fighting a, like a crime syndicate and I'm going to have like a future core group that's going to come back to the past. To, it's going to have like a lot of storyline to it but I want it to be awesome. funny. It's going to be funny. We're I, all looking forward. I assure you. I'm sure I <laughs> For everybody, when I say the biggest thing I wanted to do with it is, uh, I would like to get a few of you guys to help, like, do voiceover stuff. But oh yeah, I know it's a pain. But what I would do is just add, like, give a little list of all the phrases and just leave a yeah. little space in between so I can go yeah. and them out. I'm interested. I would love to be part. Yeah, that's the the Dennis Rodman toy I have is not from basketball. It's actually from WCW. You know, I do a pretty good Morgan Freeman. I don't know if I've done it for you. Oh, man, I could totally use that. Can you do a Sam Jackson? <laughs> Not so much, but my Morgan Freeman is pretty on point. Today we are here with the tattoo. 
Hunter. Hunter. <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Welcome to Jurassic Park. I, I actually came up with the idea on a, I did a live stream at 3 a.m. one day just mm -hmm. because I couldn't sleep and like I felt like I was out of my mind a little bit. So, man, I was like 10, 12 people on there with me at 3 a.m., 4 a.m. in the morning. It was funny, though, because we were coming up with stupid characters like horny. Is that where you before. debuted the ring? No, no, that was uh, just yes, uh, yesterday. I haven't watched that one yet. I want to see that ring. I'm going to actually going to make a, a separate video anyway, though, with it. So on, it on stream? Yeah, because no one wants to watch two hours just to see, like, one little thing. Yeah, you need so, to make a dedicated video about them. Especially because that ring is not made by companies. It's not. No, it's, he it's a handmade it. sense and scale ring. It means so much, yeah, and it's gorgeous. Made by uh, Punisher Toys and Collectibles. Definitely. Yeah, I like him. He uh, He's a good dude. He is, he is. And he's ex-military. I mean, he's a good guy. I served him today. He's a cool guy. Judson's going to have to be a, one of the voiceover stars of the new hit series, Fat yeah. Man Rodman. Yeah, he needs to be like the police chief or something. Yeah, he's going to be a little, we're going to, he's going to be mostly a good guy, but he'll have his things. Like, we'll make him yeah, like, you gotta make it, the, the gambling or something. To the Judson character. <laughs> we got to give him a little dark side. Sure. <laughs> that, Batman and Robin. Or Robin. Yeah. Arnold figure. I need someone to do an Arnold. I can do Arnold. There you go. That's what I need. Arnold. He's going to be... <laughs> Get to the chopper. <laughs> Curtis is going to be part of my voiceover. Because we're going to have Arnold and... and uh, I have I have an Arnold from the 90s and I have a Sly Stallone from the 90s and I wanted them to be like future police. They're going to actually yeah, travel. Yeah, yeah back in time to try to correct what's going That's on. It's a perfect role for both of them. Yeah, and he, neither of them will make any sense. Uh, uh, uh. No. <laughs> Everything I lost, you found. I love that line from the first Expendables. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, you look great. You look like you've lost weight. <laughs> and so yeah. I was like, yeah, but everything I lost, you found. He points to Schwarzenegger's <laughs> tummy. We're from the future. <laughs> and I have Splinter. My uh, uh -huh. 80 Splinter. He has a uh, razor the church. And he has a uh, he has like one of those uh Arabian wraps on his head. Yeah. I call him uh, Bin Lagan. <laughs> He's Is the he big terrorist. He's the well, no, not really a terror, but he's like a, a crime boss, like a main <laughs> crime boss. And I've got like all these hitmen, like uh one punch man's gonna be one of his hitmen. Uh -huh. He's got the cowboy clothes on, cowboy one yeah. punch. And then yeah. of course I have Gonzo, he's real tiny Gonzo, but he's a hitman also. <laughs> and he rides Camille, he actually sits on the chicken, it fits perfect. That's hilarious. <laughs> It'll be fun. I want to. I'm gonna at least try like a pilot episode. Yeah. If it goes well enough, I would. Because it's gonna be a lot of effort. Because I want to. I'm oh, not gonna. No. I'm not gonna a do five just five minute episodes. Gonna be hours of editing. Yeah. Because I'm not just gonna do like I'm gonna actually add special effects, gunshots, yeah. sound effects. You're gonna see yeah. the old school Batman like boom, pow. Yeah. There'll be like all kinds of cool effects, and so if I put enough effort. Awesome. It'll be fun. If it doesn't work, then it's going to be like everything else. I'll just can we it. We still have one that we did, and we can reflect and watch it as much as we want. For sure. The first thing I want to do is like a... a, a Maybe do a four-part series, a four-part See how it goes. And then mesh gauge, you know, how much time and effort it's taking out of you, and then go from Like that. shoot all four and then start releasing them and see what it does? Yeah. Yeah, because I, I got another week to wait for my stuff to come in the mail, because... I got a bunch of stuff from China. I got a bunch of clothes, like clothing. Uh, I got like metal. I got like gold chains. Like I'm gonna make some of them real gangster looking. Yeah. I got suits. I've got a, bat, a Robin outfit for Rodman. <laughs> He's gonna look like Robin, but the R is gonna be for Rodman, and his tattoos look great. So it's gonna be cool. <clears throat> That's awesome. We'll see how it goes. It's yeah. gonna have a lot of depth to it, but I want it to be funny. 
I think that's yeah, the it's gonna part. be funny. How can it not be? <laughs> We'll see how it goes. Well, so it's going to be exciting tonight. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I don't know if anybody else is going to get on with us at first, but. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, Mr. Hot Cheeto Fingers there will hop David. on and cut it up. Oh, yeah, David. I'm sorry. I yeah, forgot about that. Dave, man. Luker got permission, too, so he's good to go. Nice. And he has a uh, toys to show, so we got plenty of stuff to fill the time with because he's got toy some. Fair, we're giving toys. Dave's showing toys. Uh, we'll discuss. Yeah, we'll discuss. Uh, Fat Man and Rodman. <laughs> I need to do like a, a video, like you know, like a a, a teaser. Pre preboot, yeah, a preview teaser. Yeah, like a little 30 second long teaser. What's Curtis it? said he'll jump on too. Curtis will jump on with us. Uh, Hot Cheeto says he's going to be there. Oh, yeah. The, the honky tonk man's jumpsuit would make a perfect superhero outfit. <laughs> It'll be a lot of fun. We got a lot of stuff we can shoot the breeze about. I'm so happy to have the rest of the month off. Uh, I feel bad that I'm not making any extra flow, but I needed to be able to help out my wife because she's got all this training to go to, so the kiddos are here. Right. You're filling a role that needs filled right now. What would you, would you spend on, you know? Plus, you just don't want no random person at your house watching your kids. Yeah, because if I had, like, a stranger here, I'd worry about my toys. Sure. I mean You're the kids. Kid. That's real. I mean the kids. It's real of you. This I'd worry about my toys. You hear that? <laughs> He'd worry about his figs over the kids. Just kidding, or am I? Or is he? He's not kidding. You know? <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> I was kind of hoping tomorrow to. Me too, bud. Smash the. Dang it. Just went outside for a walk. Great right, to hear that, Scoot. Injury at work. One of the hardest things I probably shouldn't have done is when I came out of the hospital to go to work immediately. Yeah, you went. You didn't give yourself no time down. I felt weak. As like, soon as you was discharged, you was back at it, and your body and your mind wasn't ready. Judson's going to come watch the kids. <laughs> Oh, that'd be all right. Can you imagine? I, they, I'm, we're going to come in. They're going to have all these habits. Where'd you learn that from? Uncle, <laughs> Judson, right? Uncle Judson told us. <laughs> you, you won't have a house to come back to, bro. Oh, man. Everybody's in flip-flops at home. It's part of the rules. <laughs> Dang. Sorry to hear that, Scooter. What's going on with Scooter? Uh, he injured his ankle, so he's out of work for a while. Bummer. I hope you feel better soon, man. Hope the healing. I guess he's got to do rehab and all that. You want to go see what mom's eating? Yeah, it's going to be a blasty. So, uh, Man, uh, I cannot believe that uh, what's his name, uh, Venom Fang found those friggin' Black Panther wave. I'm happy for him. That's a come up. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. To get an entire wave for twenty five dollars and with a really cool bath because Mbaku is dope. That is a nice figure. I wish that would have been the very first wave build a figure. Yeah. <laughs> the Okaye, Okoye. Life lessons. Learn not to do this. <laughs> like learnings have to battle kind of lessons. From yeah. G.I. Jose. Just rub some dirt on it. <laughs> dirt on it. <laughs> I love on the actual Joe ones, there was the one where, like, who is the Joe that, I guess it was Roadblock. He's just randomly walking out. 
in somebody's house. And the kid's like, a stranger called. And he stuck his head in the window. And he's like, a stranger? <laughs> <laughs> you know better than that. <laughs> so, yeah, you need to watch Jaime's latest video if you haven't yet from that toy show. Him and his buddy were scoring all kinds. Judson, I know, seen it. Did it just come out? Yeah, it's the newest one. Yeah, I need to go and see that one. The yeah, one I Judson's watched. already watched it, but they were scoring Legends and NECAs for like below retail. Wow, lucky! It was a great show. It was MightyCon. I actually worked the MightyCon show a long time ago in uh, Davenport, Iowa. And they have a reputation for being like non scalper prices because the organizer of the event doesn't charge much for the booths. Yeah. Like enough to cover his basis for the venue. And it's like non greedy all the way around. And it's passed over to the people who attend and shop. That's amazing. It's really good. It's so uncommon. And they did it. He said, I think Jaime said normally they wait till March to do the first one. And here we are in February and they already had one. That is awesome. Where he lives, they have cons and toy shows like every other month, every other week. Man, for a YouTuber, that's perfect for a toy tuber. Yeah. I love Jaime's toy show coverage. It's always fun. He knows how to find the good stuff. Yeah. His content for that stuff is. Hey, Amar. I need to watch that video. I've caught up on everything, so that must have been yeah. just, just yesterday, or it was just yesterday. The last one I watched was a uh, um, Art G. Man, he just did a toy show too. I've not seen that one yet. Was it good? Yeah. Uh, if you're if you like vintage, man, he found there was so much vintage. Like I was vintage. just drooling. Me. What did I, he find? What did he find particularly? It was almost everything, carded and loose. I mean, G.I. Joe, E-Man, almost anything you could think of. R.G. has six hot toys now. <clears throat> Expensive. And Tech Chuck got his first hot toy. I can understand, like, like, like the hot toy collectors say, you know, you can make payments on them. So it's actually not as bad as it sounds in your mind when you think about it, like two, three hundred bucks, but... You can break it up to four, six, whatever the payments are. And it's not as bad pre-order and pay it off. I think, uh, what was I going to say? What Tech I don't like rolled over his money from his Mesco Hulk that he didn't get, and he put it on the Hot Toys version, and he loves that it. That works. It's ginormous. He's huge. My problem with uh, Hot Toys is I don't like the size I, I, I don't, you don't have, have room. I don't have room for three and three quarter inch, much less foot. You barely have room for you and the kids in there, let alone yeah. a Hulk the same size as a kid. And I'm still like, still like playing with my stuff, posing it. I'm, I just think they're too big to act out yeah. entire scenes when they're giants. I pretty them. much put them in a different pose, leave them like that for like a month, and change the pose. Yeah, but there's no doubt that this, because of the size, you get that much more incredible work into them. The adequate space, and you know, you know, I, don't, I see why I see the appeal. Yeah, they're out of my ability to collect. The ones I would probably like to get into is the Mezco, but again, it's eighty bucks for a six-inch figure. But I do want a few eventually. I want them with their pajama suits and all. I like it. I like how they look. Pajama suits. <laughs> they look good with their pajamas. Not all of them are like super pajamaed up. Like the, I think the cable one I saw recently. Was yeah, that looks great. <clears throat> That's an action yeah, figure. Yeah, the Iron Man Mezco. Iron Man. I like the one that uh, Talker Art always gets into, that comic cave. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Up, they have a lot of electrical components. How much is that thing? Over $100? I think it's 100 120 
Wow. What? Oh, uh, what Mezco I want? I want uh, Punisher. Uh -huh. I want a couple of Deadpool's, Wolverines, uh, Popeye. Uh, I like the Cable. Oh. That's about it. Oh, uh, I like uh, Space Ghost, the glow, glow in the dark. Space Ghost. I've seen a ton that I really like. Yeah, that Iron Man and Red Skull look awesome. They have the uh, crossbones and cap two pack. I'm at Walmart. It's still ringing forty nine ninety nine. The ten years Marvel. Mine too. But if you look at the Walmart dot com price, it says twenty nine ninety seven. So they're supposed to price match that. Yeah. As long as it says as sold by Walmart, it's not like a different seller. You know, they can match it. Because they have a lot of third-party sellers on their website. They do. That's so weird to me. Because I've taken in stuff to the – I took – one time I went into Walmart with something to return it. Yeah. They told me it's not from Walmart. Does anybody in the chat have that two-pack? <clears throat> the cap and crossbones, is it at $30? Is that pretty fair, you guys think? I think for the crossbones. That would make it – wasn't crossbones a bath in the past? I don't remember. I think he was one of Hasbro's earliest bath. Maybe so. Oh, this is the MCU crossbones, though. Yeah. Their comic book one they did in the uh, when they took over the license is one that people still army build and they they look for that figure. I uh, if you watch the live, if you go back and watch my little live I did at Walmart, mm -hmm. the two pack. Uh, Thor and uh, what's her name, Lady Sith? That's ten dollars at my Walmart right now. It's ringing up ten. Yeah, is it? That's not yeah. a bad looking long hair Thor, but I kind of. I like the one. I like my Stormbreaker Thor. Yeah, that's the cool one there. The short hair. Wow, Judson, I'll, we could work out a something. I'll work out something with you. Those, I've been eyeballing that one. You know what the you other think one. Think of that uh, that uh, Winter Soldier two pack, or is it Civil War? It's a Civil War two pack. I've never seen it over here. It's crossbones and cap. It's pretty, it's pretty sweet. That yeah, that it's been bumming people out with that red. My my uh, Walmart has like twelve. Or 14 red skulls now but they're all 25 bucks punisher toys is in the chat we've not done the giveaway that's going to be tonight we wanted to just let everybody know about it with this video yeah punisher this is a hype video. prizes hour one and hour two go over them one more time hour one we're gonna i'm gonna be giving away a a, a le elite wrestler here at the end of hour one, we're going to do two hours total. So this will be at the end of the very first hour. We're going to give this away on a random picker to make it fair so you can see the pick live. This is at the end of hour one. You have to be in the chat at the very time of uh, doing the pick or we'll go to the next guy or gal. And at the end of hour two, I'm going to be giving away a brand new uh, Primal Clash. This is the Dino Wrangler. It's the one with the tiger. Looks amazing. <clears throat> so much detail and brand set. new toy, guys. Blaze, yeah, and then the, so that's going to be the two-hour giveaway. We had the, and then next week Wednesday we're probably going to do a couple other things. But these uh, Primal Clash have been getting a lot of a lot of hype lately. People are really digging them. I love them. I have one. I actually wanted this one next for myself, but I'm going to give it away and pick it up later. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I, I I like to give too. I used to do quite a few giveaways, actually. Yeah, you're. I've fallen behind. You over the the growth of your channel, heavily. I want to do. Uh, well, I have in plans to do a twenty five hundred giveaway because I missed the two thousand, being sick and having a lot of problems. 
so I missed my 2000 mark, but the 2500, which is soon, I'm already over 24. Yeah. So in the next week or two, I'm going to be giving away a vintage carded figure because I've had yeah. a lot of people that watch my channel, of course, like vintage. Yeah. So I'm going to do two giveaways. It's going to be a new legend and it's going to be a vintage carded uh, gargoyle, the main guy. Yeah. Uh, what's his name again? <laughs> Uh, can't think of it. Shoot, it'll come to us in a little while. <laughs> He's got a real cool name, everybody. Just take our word for it. <clears throat> Judson put the answer up yet? Uh, no. <laughs> the main uh, gargoyle. Why? Goliath, there you go, Goliath. Yeah, those Godzilla figures are gone in my Walmarts. I can't find them now. Because they were such a low price point, they went quick. I have a Bandai, a 90s Bandai Godzilla, and these things are just almost just as good, the quality. Yeah. These cheap ones they came, that Walmart came out with at that price point, so they went fast. The one that Dondi got? Yeah, there's they have a, I think it's a modern Godzilla, a '90s Godzilla, and then they have the other characters. They're really cool looking. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it. I, I'm gonna be doing a separate video because I unboxed that uh, amazing custom wrestling ring Punisher made. He made but with his own hands. It's incredible. Yeah, I'm looking forward to checking that out. I'm gonna do a separate, uh, separate video. I might even do a little, take a little page from uh, Mr. Elite June Hector, <laughs> and throw down like one round, a one that round. That would be fun. Thing. It'll be Ryuki. It's gotta be Kane. It's gotta be Kane. It's gotta be Kane. <laughs> That dude's too much, man. The way he was going from, but you know that's Frank see, and then Jr. Not a lot of people want to put themselves out there. That's what I was gonna say about that guy, Hyrule Legend, when we were talking earlier. Yeah, he brings personality. Like some people are too scared to to put themselves out there, you know, and and risk it, risk getting ridiculed and made fun of. Right, like, going to jump out there, like you know, I just I respect those kind of. That's the, there's a lot more to gain, isn't there? Exactly. Because if you think about it, you know, especially when it comes to just doing uh, reviews, there's thousands of people that are trying to do the same thing. You know, there's so many people, it's hard to watch that many people. So you got to set yourself out a little separate from everybody else. Anybody can grab a toy and be like, oh, the arm bends this way, the leg bends this way, the box looks like this, uh, the head can go. To the I mean, it's boring. You got to really be different you know whether what you got to be able to get out there and make contact with all these people all these groups all these facebook pages you got to put work into your editing put work into your thumbnail if you can't buy stuff be out there like make some kind of creative creative uh videos even if it's just reviewing stuff or talking about news that you heard but i mean you really got to put in to get out of it if you want to get something out of it yeah <laughs> Because when I started, I see people that started with me that are still at like 200 subs, you know, and, and under. And I'm like, man, we started at the same time, but life got yeah. in the way. You can understand life gets in the way and you can't help it then, but it's it's not easy. I mean, when you say, oh, this guy hit 100, that's actually a bigger deal than it even sounds. 200. The first 100, isn't it? Is it's the trick. Yeah. You, you really deserve a shout to get to 100, to get to 200, to get to 500. Once you hit it, I think once you get over a thousand, it may get a little easier, like because you're already spread out a little more. Yeah. More contact, you're going to keep rolling. The algorithm is recommending you. The algorithm is going to change and help you out more. So you, once you hit that thousand, but until then, it's like kicking, biting. I mean, you're clawing, trying to get to that thousand. It's a lot of effort. It is. And I used to do a lot of stupid stuff, man. I would get dressed up and go in public, dressed up as different weird stuff. And, I get like 10 views.
plenty of fun though. Plenty of fun. I want that uh the demon there. That's a nice one. This? Yeah. I like him as the demon better than the plane because it just sticks out more. This is that mutant valor. So it's not even Oh man, that is cool. Yeah. I thought you had him at the workplace. I guess not, right? No, that one at the workplace is uh the one from NXT where he came out with the chainsaw. Yeah. He's got the entrance attire. That is cool. You know, back in his uh, uh, New Japan days, he actually wore like Venom face paint and stuff. When he That's was cool to change it up. He was actually like when he was Prince Devitt in Japan, he wore legit Venom face paint. That all had to change when he became from Balor, a WWE character. Right, yeah. And they don't even use that persona anymore. I haven't seen it. No, anymore. he last time he used it was he surprised Baron Corbin in that feud they were having. And he was like, remember he like, Corbin in like three minutes? Yeah. He kicked him, he coup de gras him, and one, two, three, and it was over. I watched, I was watching on the network, uh, his beginnings with NXT. Yeah. He didn't use it for a long time there either. He was just coming out normal yeah, with, with that the jacket. He had the Asian tag team partner. Yeah, yeah. Uh Kenta. Yeah. Yeah, that dude. He just had nothing but bad luck when he came to the States. Seems like it. They were talking Kenta about in the in the Indies, like Daniel Bryan has said on record that Kenta kicked him so hard. That his ear was ringing five days afterwards. Wow. He said Kenta kicked him so hard that he dreaded to work with him because he was so painful with his. Ooh, I bet. <laughs> you don't forget style. that. But when he made the NXT, like, everything just fell apart for that dude. Yeah. He wasn't utilized right. There was a language barrier. Like, Finn got moved up and he was left behind. And yeah. The feuds they put in him weren't interesting at all. And that's kind of see NXT has a lot more excitement than the than the main roster does. Yeah, it's stagnant, isn't it? It's really stagnant. I like that NXT is very little promos and a whole lot of wrestling. It's right. like I'm coming out here to kick your butt. And they drop the microphone, they go in there and they do it. <laughs> it's like the old days. But now the main roster, they have to appeal to so many different audience types. That's true. Because there's people who watch simply for the women's. There's people who watch simply for the characters who, you know, who act this way or behave that way. They have so many demographics on main roster that the, the product has to be more interesting than just the guy comes out, talks trash, and they wrestle. Yeah. There's got to have all that other filler in it to fill them three hours on Raw. Yeah. They need a lot of extra stuff. NXT like is Jordan. one hour, and it's very little trash talking. They say what they got to say, and they wrestle. There's a lot yeah. of action. Yeah. The old format. I don't, I don't think there's an author of pain, right? I can't remember if they have the belts or not. Who has? I think they do have the raw tag team belts. Kind of not into a lot of the people that are getting a lot of airtime. They don't support the tag team vision on the main roster. No, they need to because there's a lot of fun. Like it used to be. That's one thing the I love. Tag team about. back in the day was legit. Like the mid late nineties. There were guys that retired that retired as solely a tag team star. Mm -hmm. That's where people enjoyed seeing them. I agree. It's crazy. And now this AEW talk about, you know, more and more people wanting out of their contracts. And there's another option. Now. It's not just Vince anymore. Booker T says it best. If you watch the Booker T podcast, 
he's a trip to watch, but sometimes he says stuff that makes sense. Yeah. He's like, as big as the WWE is, McMahon cannot employ every professional wrestler. There needs to be other places where people can just be one. He can't afford to hire to employ all the wrestlers. Exactly, yeah. As rich as he wants to portray himself, he can't and, and still be a profitable business. So you need more platforms. You need other, you know. I agree, yeah. And it needs to go higher than what Impact and uh, the other one in, in Chicago. What's the one in Chicago base uh, that's been doing it forever? Can't think of it. It's the one that, that Ring of Honor, you know. Those, oh, those, yeah. those brands like Plateau at a certain gauge then they never could or never will. No one ever expected them to get into WWE's arena, and, and everyone knows it. This new one coming out has the potential to be, you know, the television deal, if that works out, merchandising, Cody's lineage, you know. And ROH has had some really great talent go through there. Yeah, they have. I remember seeing, uh, what's his name, uh, uh, last people I've seen, like Kevin Owens, when he yeah, came yeah. over. And that guy was in NXT, Roderick Strong. Yeah. Roderick Strong was in ROH for a long time. So many of them. And now he, there he is in the, you know, part of that group. I think when that group moves up from NXT to the main roster, uh, what do they call themselves? The the Error? Oh, Under yeah. The error. Yeah. When those guys go to the main roster, they need to really invest in that as a big storyline to give those guys the proper angle they need to make it sustained. Don't just look how they def they ruin the uh, insanity. Right. Stable. Something. Uh, I don't know what to fix it, but I think, yeah, you're right. They need, they need to bring up some fresh talent or something because – I don't know. I'm just tired of seeing Elias there in the Raw, stage. Raw is in trouble. It's getting boring. You are game? down. Advertisement is down. I mean, yeah, the Becky Lynch running on the Stone Cold, you know, is interesting. It's it's drawing numbers, but it's not enough to support yeah. the whole show. It's got to be more than one wrestler's job to carry the show. Yeah. You think they'll get that guy done? This, they have like this attitude that they're there, they're on a contract, and they're going to do their job. Like, there's no more killer instinct, like to be the champ, like who has the belt. There's no more chasing of the title. Yeah, and, it, and that's when it's fun, when it, they make believe, you know, that's everything. Do what you got to do to to get up there. There's no desire to be top guy level no more. It's okay to be a mid carder. Yeah, that's the current WWE product, and that makes it boring. Carter, and it's okay, like a therapy group. Yeah. I agree, sir. They need us there. <laughs> I would probably do a, a diamond cutter. <laughs> Boss. So what do we got now? About five hours? <laughs> five mm -hmm. hours till. <laughs> Good pre-stream stream. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's longer than the stream. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. I hope everybody yeah. like. I hope we have some people show up. Yeah, we will. They'll be there. Come early. Yeah, be there or be square. And square is fine though. It's a shape. Hashtag, we'll take the strap. We'll take the scraps. 
everyone has a price. <laughs> Never forget that. <laughs> All right, but I guess... Uh, We'll jump off of here. Yeah, you want to go and wrap it up? That way we can uh, save all Three. our energy in our five energy. hours. Two five winners. hours, everyone. Five hours, two winners, two Let's hours. Giveaways, and give you know, for the one after that. Give us some ideas if you have like other stuff you'd like to see. I'm gonna have something to contribute in March. I'll be giving something Star Wars. Some Star Wars related. Sounds like it'd be fun. I kind of now, now that I let all those dang archive wave get through, I kind of want the Boba Fett now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now I can't find him. He's a nice figure. Oh, I have the Django. I thought it'd be cool to see them together. Yeah, you got to have Boba. I'm sure the opportunity will present itself. Yeah, I think they're pretty saturated. You'll get another shot at them. For sure. The whole wave's cool. I just I don't know why. Have That's just the first archive wave. The one they're planning next. Even better. The Jedi Luke from Return of the Jedi. Darth. The black suit? Yeah, the black outfit. Luke. Yeah. So Jedi yeah. Luke, Darth Maul, which Darth Maul on the secondary market is a eighty dollar black series. Yeah, yeah, the blue line one or whatever. It yeah, was. the blue line. Yeah, eighty dollars. Yeah, so he's about to cop him for twenty dollars. You know they're gonna just make him one per case instead of two. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know. There was a time Raven was super rare, and then they redistributed him. And now, like Best Buys is where all the Revens go now. That's true. Oh, you know what I saw uh, this morning? I was watching my buddy. Uh, uh. Uh, West Coast guy, mm -hmm. uh, he uh, found at Best Buy, he found that Revan for 10 bucks. Where? At Best Buy, in a lot Best of them. Best Buy 10 bucks. Yeah. He had a, but if you go watch his video, the one he put out, I guess, last night, mm -hmm. but there's a ton of Best Buys kicking out a lot of stuff for 10, 12 bucks. I don't have one near me. Mine is an hour. Uh, do these prices work online? <laughs> Justin is strictly an online hunter. But still, that's like well, I would tell David, uh, that's still hunting to me. If you're like hunting a certain thing online, eBay, Amazon, it's still toy hunting. I count yeah. it as hunting because yeah. you have to put effort towards finding the price, the the condition. You know, you're not just the availability. Yeah, you have to keep keep up watching if everything. If it's in stock or not, yeah, sure. So I still see them as toy hunters. So I think so we'll have Dave tonight and Hot Cheetos possibly. I mean Velasquez, so it's gonna be a fun stream. That'll be awesome. So you did. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. And uh we'll be back on in a little while tonight, in about five hours from now, giving out some stuff. So if you wanna come hang out, shoot the breeze, BS with us, and maybe win some a couple of gifts, we'll see you then. Never give up that hunt. And then uh also pew 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 pew. <laughs> you need some catchphrases, sir. Up, oh, you're gone. I'm here alone, everybody. Everyone take care. <laughs> Catch you later. God bless.